what up everyone welcome once again to one of my smudge painting class uh, this is a special edition because on this tutorial I won't be doing any editing here I will only be, I will only be adding a soundtrack to the background to reduce the, no the noise in the audio so every little step I take in this particular video uh, is going to be there I'm not trimming anything out, I'm not fast forwarding any step for you guys to learn. So the picture I'm using right now is a picture of a ex Big Brother Ninja contestant by the name of Boma. I downloaded this picture from Instagram. So I just decided to use this picture for you guys as a tutorial. I will be dropping the image link in the description below for you guys to download it there. Or people that do partake in my class, I uh, will send a picture to you via my WhatsApp contact for you guys to download it there so that you can work together with me. So the first step we need to do now is to remove the background from the picture. There are so many ways to do that, but I would prefer you guys using an easier way. Uh, currently, right now, I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud 19. That's CC 19. But if you are using any version of Photoshop, Starting from CS6 above, I think you are good to go for smudge painting and any other uh, editing. So let's jump into that. I'm going to be using my paint to to crop out this picture. Um, currently, I'm not using a mouse. I'm not using a digital tablet or a drawing tablet to sketch out everything I want to sketch out right now. I'm only really using my touchpad on my PC right now, so that you guys can see that it's possible to do that and achieve same outcome with those using graphic tablet and so but it's going to be a little bit difficult for people that, living, that don't have graphic tablet so without any further ado let's jump into work so the first thing we need to do is to copy the background but before we do that i really love saving my image layer as in my default layer i don't like touching it i love creating a new layer when i want to start any work so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on my Ctrl plus J. What I did right now is duplicate the background layer. So that anything I'm working on right now, the background layer won't be affected. Uh, if I make any mistake, I want to start afresh again. I can just easily go back to the background layer and start my work afresh. Or I can just see my before and after through my background layer. So let's jump into action by cropping out the background. So I'm going to be using my pencil right now. I'll go to my pencil. This is what our pencil look like over here. Uh, the reason why I'm using the pencil, it's way easier to crop out picture. Uh, if you know how to use it, even though you don't know how to use it, just keep the edge. And if you make mistakes, it's easier for you to go back. Unlike our polygonal lagzo tool, our lagzo tool, our mag magnetic tool, and our quick selection tool. So right now I'll be using the pen tool to crop out the image from the background. So I'm going to zoom in so that I can see what I'm doing very well. Uh, I'll zoom in, then I'll start cropping. What I'll be doing now, any point I get to, I'm going to left click once, then remove my hand. I'll left click once, as you can see, left click, left click, left click. So I'll be doing that till I crop out the image. Going to take quite a lot of time but it will be very easy for you guys to do it this way so i'll keep doing that going over the edge little by little uh take your time uh, if i'm to do a video tutorial i do fast forward this part but since i'm teaching you guys every step i don't want you to miss out any step that's the reason why i'm just doing it this way so you too you can take your time please if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please kindly do so uh so keep encouraging me if you have any question you can contact me i'll drop my whatsapp number below and if you are also chatting me from outside the country maybe from a country that doesn't use english as their major language uh please try and get a google translator on your phone so that when i send a message to you you it will be very very easier to translate 
and also on my own end, I already have my own Google Translator right now, so that communicating with you guys will be very very easy. So we're going to do that. Make sure you you can cut from the clothes, but don't don't lift, don't allow the background to be in your image. You can even cut out part of the body, part of the clothes. But what you don't need is the background still appearing after cropping it out again. So take your time and do it. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is a little bit cranky tonight. Uh, I've been busy as of lately and haven't got enough sleep as of recent. That's why my voice is down. So, we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to be playing the background song right now. Sorry, the soundtrack is going to be playing. I'm going to mute for now until I get to the edge again. So stay with me, please do not skip any step, every step right now is very 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 important.
so you can decide to use an app to crop the picture it is called removebg.com but i prefer cropping a picture out myself uh, there's no way the computer is going to crop it perfectly for you because it doesn't know what you need in the picture it's only going to remove the background uh, there are some strands that you leave behind so i prefer doing it manually but if you wish to use the uh, remove bg uh, you will also have same outcome as this one but it might not be that perfect but if you don't know how to crop yet uh, you can use that for now and later on learn how to do it yourself but i prefer doing stuff like this myself i don't like going to any site for anything so i think we're done for now we've trimmed over the edges as you can see these are our dots over here so i'm going to yeah there's no object here that's why i'm just look at how i click because i know there is nothing here there's nothing here also but i think there is still a skin here and there's still the background left there so i'm going to zoom in to also crop out that area too i'll click here and i'll zoom in so i can see what i'm doing very well so i'm still going to trim over this edge too going to trim over it going to trim by it okay i think we done for now so i'll go back to the edge we started from as you can see right now we are at the edge so the next thing you need to do right now is to click on make selection make selection once you click on it it's going to ask if you want to feather it uh, i don't know if it's a feather wise modern picture but right now i'm currently using 0 0.2 pixel i can just decide to use zero then I click my OK. As you can see right now, this is my selection. All I need to do now is just to hit on my Ctrl J. Ctrl J. As you can see right now, here is a picture without the background. The picture without the background right now, I think it's looking very, very neat right now. So, this is the picture. I'm are going to know that the picture doesn't have a background anymore? This is our layer icon over here as you can see there's nothing here this is our image in the background as you can see there's still background there and make sure the layer you're working on working on is on the top layer so you can just decide to kill the remaining two layer to check out if you crop it out well or you still need to make adjustments or amendments to it so that's the first step for now the second step is for we to kill shadow i think there's so much shadow in this image the image is not that bright enough but we want something bright so what we're going to do now is we are going to go to our image under our image we we'll go to adjustments then shadow and highlights once we click on it automatically it will kill the shadow for us uh, we can just adjust this maybe it's not enough uh, you can increase it if it's too much you can reduce it i'm currently using 25 then i'll click my ok so we're done with the second step the third step is one of the most important step why it's merging uh, we'll be cropping out different components we want to apply oil paint on especially example we are cropping out the air the brows the eye the lip and also the bed the watch and the goats so we're going, we're going to do that one after the other but this time around i'm not going to be using my pencil i'll be using my polygonal lagzo tool which we have over here uh this is my polygonal lagzo tool it's already it's on lagzo tool already how i go to my polygonal lagzo tool i long click on the option over there so it brought out the three tool under it for me so i'll pick my polygonal lagzo tool then i'll zoom in firstly i will crop out the air So I'll crop out the air right now. I'm only left clicking once on the polygonal lag like the two. Then I'll trace the line that the air is following to crop it out perfectly. This one you can zoom out to see what you are doing very well. Unlike while cropping out the image from the background. 
So I'm going to do that. I think we we drew all the work wise margin. Uh, we became an air stylist, become a makeup artist, so on and so forth. So this <laughs> smudge painting has a lot of things combined together. Right now I'm being a barber right now. I'm being a hair stylist right now. Cropping out the air, the sh I'm giving it a shape of its own. So I think we drawn done with the air. So what I'll do now, I'll see it's my country G. Country G. If I have to kill the image layer now, as you can see we really have the air layer right now. So I'm going to turn it back. So the next thing I'll do right now is to crop out the beard and also the mustache. Luckily for me, the boats are together, so I don't have to crop it out separately and crop the boats together. So I'll pick my still pick my polygonal lazo too. I'll make sure it's still an addition. Then I'll trim it round. But well, make sure when you're working, you're working on your image layer right now. So I'll trim over it. As you can see right now. I'll go over the edge. I'll keep selecting till I get to the edge. So once we're done with it. I think we're done with selection right now. But we're selecting now, we are selecting the whole area. We are selecting both the lip and both the skin right there. But we really want to apply oil paint on just the bed. So we are going to change this our addition. We are going to change it to subtraction. So we are subtracting this area out of the selected area. So we are still going to click around the inner area. To make sure we select it out. So click over it. If you make any mistake, don't hesitate to so go back by clicking on Ctrl Z. So we're done with it as you can see right now. We really selected the area we want to apply the paint on. So the next we are going to do now is to see it on our control J. Control J. As you can see right now, this is our bed. The two layer that's on, that's our air layer and also our bed layer. So I'm going to turn it back on again. This time around, I'm cropping out my eye my brows. I'm also going to crop that out too. Make sure you're on your uh, image layer. So I also crop that out. So I've cropped out the left side. So I'm going to the right now. So I'll change my subtraction to addition because I'm selecting two area. I want to add to this selection. I'll do the same thing right here too. As you can see right now, I've added to the selection. So I'll still click on Ctrl J. So as you can see now, we have both our lash, our brows right now. So let me name my layer so that I won't get confused. This is my brows. Uh, this is my bed. And also this is my air layer. 
the next thing I'm going to crop out now is the eye and the lip at the same time because I'm going to be applying oil paint on both the eye and the lip too so I'll still select this area I'll go to the right hand parts I'll select it too Then I'll still hit my Ctrl J again, Ctrl J. I'll name it I. So let me select the lip now. Make sure you're on your image layer. Select it again. Now it's all the area we are selecting right now. <laughs> These are the area I want to apply oil paint on. So once I'm done with the selection now, I stick on my Ctrl J. Then I will name this layer now Lip. I think we're done with the face. So let's crop out the both earrings because we are going to be applying oil paint and also apply color on that too. But right now we still have the background in the earring right now. So we are going to delete that. I'm going to select the area out. I'm going to select it out. This time around, once we're done with the selection, hit our delete key. On the image layer, we'll hit our delete key. As you can see, we've deleted that area off. We'll go to the other part too. We'll do the same thing there. Once we're also done with the selection, we delete it also by hitting our delete key delete then control d to select so we are going to crop out the earring now as you can see so i'll go to the right hand side too I'll crop it out also So we're done with the earring, I want to hit on my control J again, so I'm going to name this one earring. <laughs> so the next one we're going to crop out the clothes. I'm going to crop out the clothes, I still use my polygonal axle to, to do that, I'll make sure I'm still on my image layer, then I'll trim over the area I want to crop out. The reason why we are doing this is to apply oil paint number one and to make sure while smudging we don't touch, we don't mix the area together like we smudging the clothes so that it won't reflect on the skin so that we have to smudge it very well. So I'll select the clothes using my polygonal like that too. If I make any mistake I can just go back by hitting my delete key, delete, delete. So you can continue. So I'll keep doing that. I'm cropping up the skin from the from the clothes. I'll zoom out a little bit. Cropping it out. I'll zoom in so that we have to crop out the watch area very perfectly. So I'll keep keep on doing that.
go sit down with us. We're going to crop it uh, with the neck. We're going to crop out the neck also because all we need here right now is just the clothes alone. So I'm cropping out the neck now on the clothes. And notes, I'm only using my touch pad right now. I'm not using a digital tablet, neither am I using a mouse. So I'll continue. So we it up right now. can see we've cropped out the robots we've already made a mistake here the skin is already there so I'm going to click on our subtraction to subtract the skin from the clothes I think we're done with that so now I'll turn it back to addition then I'll crop out this down area also because it's also part of the clothes. So I'll zoom in, go to the location, then I'll crop it out. Still using my polygon like X right now. If you have any questions so far, just drop your question on the WhatsApp group or you can drop it in the comment section below i'll get back to you right on that Uh, we are cropping out this area but So we're done with selecting the goods out of the picture right now. So we're still going to control J it control J. So these are our codes here. Let me turn off for the other layers. As you can see right now, these are our clothes right now, so I'll turn it on back. So now I'm going to name it clothes. So the next thing is for me to crop out the watch because I also applied oil paint on the watch also. So I'm going to trim out the watch too. Please take your time while doing it. Don't rush yourself. Take your time while doing it so you can get a nice result. 
that's the reason why I'm being gentle with it right now so don't rush your outcome take as much time as possible so that you can get every step right and don't skip any part of this video because there are there's dictates in everything I'm doing right now so I'm done with the watch I'm still going to replicate it by clicking on ctrl j again and I'll name it the watch so this next step is for we to apply oil paint on it uh, 70% of people using Photoshop these days are visual with their oil paint. Uh, either it's not working or their system, their Photoshop does not come with oil paint. So I created, I saw a solution on that not so long ago and I created a video on that. But right now I'm going to be using that solution for you guys. I'll be using oil paint from my Photoshop and also I'm going to be using oil paint from another source in case your oil paint has a shoot so right now i'm using photoshop cc19 and as you can see my own oil paint is also not working as you can see it is blank right now so i'm going to switch from my cc19 to my cc15 i have over here uh, if you have photoshop and your oil paint is working don't bother, don't bother using the next step i'm going to take i uh, just use your photoshop to apply oil paint on the area of just cropped out but if you have issue with your oil paints, I uh, watch the next two steps so that I'm going to be showing you a way on how to apply oil paint without stress, even though your Photoshop does not have the oil paint feature. So stay with me while I switch from my CC19 to my CC. Okay, right now I'm currently in my Photoshop Creative Cloud 15. That's CC15 right now. So yes, I'm going to be applying the first oil paint. So what I'm going to do now is the component I cropped out, the wash, the clothes, the hearing, the eyes, the lip. I'm going to be putting them in a group. I'm going to be holding my control and shift. I've already clicked on the uh, the first layer down here, the first component down here. So once I hold my control shift, I'm going to click on the top one. So I've selected that area, then I'll click on control G. So I've grouped everything in the folder right now so what i'm going to do next i'm going to duplicate it by clicking on ctrl j this is why i'm duplicating it uh, is the first group i'm using my photoshop oil paint filter while the step two i'm going to be using another source to oil paint it in case of people that have issue with their oil paints so let me name this one photoshop oil paint photoshop Show oil paint and the other one I will name it Photopia. Photopia. Yeah, dot com. So let's jump into the first one, which is the Photoshop. Firstly, I'm going to be oil painting the air. Once I click on the air, I'll go to filter. Is my oil paint over here? I'll click on it. You can see right now, this is the work of the oil paint. I can just increase, I can reduce, and I can change the cleanness until you see it. So I'm going to be increasing this one. Once I'm done with it, I click OK. Automatically, it's going to apply here. As you can see right now, these are here. So I'll go for the bed also, filter, oil paint. Sorry. Filter, then oil paint. As you can see right now, it's already applied on it. So I can still decide to reduce this one or increase it till I see fit. And I click OK again. So I'll do the same thing for the, the lash, sorry, the brow, filter, oil paints. Same thing for the clothes. Okay, for we'll jump to the clothes, let's finish with the air. So let me go to the lip. Let me go to filter, 
then oil paints this time around i'll be reducing this one because it's too much for it and the cleanliness i'm going to increase it also i think this is okay i'll click my ok button then i'll do the same thing now for the eyes filter then oil paints As you can see right now, the oil paints already have already applied on it. Then I'll click OK also. So next, I'll go for the earring too. Filter, then oil paints. Automatically, it has applied. Then now I'll go to my watch. Filter, oil paints. Then I'll adjust the settings. This too much. I reduce it. Then I'll click my OK now again. Next, I'll go to the clothes, which is the last part I'm going to be applying oil paint on. Filter, then oil paints. If it's too much, I reduce it. If, if it's not enough, I increase it. And this is OK, then I click the OK also. So once we're done with the oil paints now, for people that don't that have issue with your oil paints so yes there is also going to do i'm going to off this my layer right now the one i repaint and i'm going to turn on this other one which is the photopia.com and i'm going to save it ctrl s to save once i'm done with that i'm going to close the documents right now i'm going to use my browser uh, the name of the website is called photopia it's called photopia.com so wait for me guys let me switch to my browser right away so now this the website www.photopia.com so I'm going to type it below so that you guys can see it very well so it's used data once you launch the site, uh, you already saved your document as a PSD format. So we are going to click on open from computer. Once you click on it, you search for the location where you save your document. I saved my in desktop uh, material. This is my material over here. So this is the file I saved. Once I click on it, I click on open. So I wait for it to load. Uh, it can take some time, depending on how large the file is. As you can see right now, it has opened. It looks exactly like Photoshop. We saw our tools over here, as then it adds same workspace as Photoshop. So it will be very very easier for you guys to navigate. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to open this my folder right now because this is the uh, area I want to apply my paint on on Photopia. So I'll click on the air first and I'll go to filter. Then I'll look for oil paint. Oil paint is on that stylist here. Yeah? Stylist. Then click on oil paint. As you can see right now, automatically it has applied oil paint. So you can just adjust this. Increase, decrease, increase. TCP. Then you click on OK. So you do the same thing for the beds too. Do the same thing for all the components, including the air, uh, the way we did on Photoshop. So I think this is a very easy way for you to apply oil paints in case uh, your oil paints have issue. Your, your Photoshop oil paints have issue. So you can just come here and apply oil paints on all, all your works very very easy to use and give it same results just like the photoshop uh, the browse let me apply everything here also same thing for the earring the lip filter let me go to, let me change uh the settings for the lip let me reduce it a bit or increase it then i click ok so same thing for the eye too, filter, oil paints, but it's too much for the eye, control Z. Now I'll go to filter again, then I'll change the settings for the eye also, oil paints, it's too much, I'll reduce it, 
and I click OK. Same thing for the code also, filter, then oil paints, oil paints, it's too much, I can really increase, then I can reduce at the same time. So I'll click OK. So I'll do it for everything I have right here, including the watch, 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 filter, oil paints, as you can see right now. Which is very very nice just like the photoshop no stress nothing nothing you just need your data it doesn't consume much data so once we're done with everything right now i'm going to close the group and i'm going to file save as psd i'm still going to use the same name to save it i'm going to save it now do you want to replace click on yes wait for it to save and that's all you've saved your file so there's no need, no need in the photopia again to do anything unless you want to smudge the picture here yeah, you can also smudge it on put the photopia but it consumes data better you do it on your photoshop but if you wish to use your photopia you can just go under here click on your smudge tool if you already installed your brush i think your brush is there but if not you go to your brush then come to this icon over here then roll brush go to where your brush is located in your file manager this is my brush over here then i click on open automatically it will ask you if you want to add it to your photo your photopia you click on ok now it said brush added then now you pick the brush you want to use this is the one this is the one we'll be using right now so i'll click ok then i'll change the strength from 50 because i use 30 i'll change it to 30 i click ok so i zoom in I zoom in and I'll start smudging. Sorry, I won't select the area I want to smudge on. So I'll start smudging as you can see. We started smudging. So you can decide to smudge your picture here. So the same step you will be taking on your Photoshop, that same step you'll be taking here also. But I prefer using my Photoshop to do the rest. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and continue from where we left off so right now i'm back on my photoshop cc19 creative cloud 19 so i'm going to be showing you the two way paints to make use of uh the one we use on our photoshop cc15 and also the one we use on our photopia.com so this is the one we use on our photoshop cc15 so this is what the oil paints look like so and this is the one we made use of on our photoshop on our photopia which is the one we use online so i think i prefer the one we made it up online to the one uh we used on our photoshop cc15 so now i'm going to be deleting the one uh we use on our photoshop cc15 so i'll delete it then this uh one with a photopia i'm going to duplicate it into two ctrl g the lower layer i'm going to lock it or lock it then i'll switch it off while the upper layer i'm going to click on it then control i hold my control key then click uh on the image layer then i'll match together by pressing ctrl e as you can see right now uh, the white paints and the image layer are now on the same layer so now i will duplicate my image layer by pressing ctrl g then i'll right click on it create a clipping max so the next thing I'll do, I'll pick my smudge brush. This is my smudge brush, my smudge tool over here. Uh, sometimes you might find it difficult to see your smudge tool because if you are using it for the first time, the tool that is going to pop up is your blood tool. But once you long click on it, it's going to be other optional. So you just click on your smudge tool, then you go to your brush over area over here. Then you select your brush. This is what the brush looks like. Uh, we have so many small brush and they are works 
but the one we're using for the skin is this one I have right now I'm using right now so I've sent the brush to you guys on WhatsApp I'm sent you a link on how to install it very 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 easy to install in case you don't you haven't installed it yet and just go to settings over here then click on import brush uh, it can be import brush it can be load brush any one of it then go to where it's located on your file manager select it then click ok then search for the brush that you are going to use uh, most likely it's always it's always the last brush on its list always the last brush on its list this is it over here click on it and click ok now the next thing you have to take note of is the brush strength uh, why is more in the picture if the brush strength is too high it's going to destroy the facial structure so please take note of that okay let me give you an example if i'm to use 100 as my strength watch while i smudge over the eye as you can see it's what it did it just smooth the eye permanently from its current location from its previous location to its new location right now and that's not what i need i need to smoothen the face for me and so on so what i will do now is i'll reduce it to 30 because i'm using 30 as my startup point so later on i cannot reduce it or increase it but i'll be using 30 to start so i will zoom in very well so i can see what i'm doing then i'll reduce my brush size then i'll start smudging please know why smudging please don't stay in the location more than two to three seconds and make sure you don't destroy any dictates if you make any mistake don't hesitate to go back by clicking on ctrl z to redo that particular step again so i'm smudging this picture right now is i'm holding down my left click then i'm dragging the brush using my touch pads left and right as you can see right now as you can see i'm touching the edges of the air a little bit and the reason why i'm doing that is that uh the air has already look as if we cropped it out so i'm blending the air with the skin so that it look as it's as if it's there so that it don't look as if we crop out any component of it so that's the reason i'm blending the edges a little bit so stay with me i'm not forwarding this part also i'm going to be doing it step by step for you guys very slowly so that you guys will be able to grab it so stay with me please if you are yet to subscribe please kindly do so because there are a lot of tutorial coming on ahead for you guys including how to create your websites with no coding skill needed a uh, free domain free host i will drop my website link below so you can check it how i create my own uh, using your own domain name without dots maybe google.com just dots your name and your uh, domain name very very cheap free of charge no extra charges from A to Z and also use wordpress to design website also so stay with me guys and please don't forget to subscribe and share also to your friends because i know other people might need it so let's jump back into what we are doing so i'll keep on smudging little by little please take your time do not rush don't rush don't rush don't rush keep smudging little by little and please try your possible best to make sure you don't destroy any details while smudging uh for those who are lucky to join the class well congratulations because for those who did not partake in the class the small brush i'm currently using right now uh, is sold for 1000 naira. for those who joined the class well i gave you guys the brush for free but for those who weren't able to join uh, i'm very very sorry but from now on the brush is sold for 1000 naira. for you to make payments uh, the link is in the description below you can make your payment there and you get your brush immediately after the payment no delay so i'm going i'm only going to be playing the background sound right now till i smudge the first step finish so stay with me guys
and please note our uh, why smudging is smaller area example the eye or anywhere that has dictated uh, make sure you reduce your brush size so that you won't destroy the dictates you have there I think many people make that mistake and that's the reason why some people would get A to B by smudging so please take note of that especially while smudging the eye uh, the nose the lip also please take that into consideration to have a nice smudged image Please, if you are just learning, please make sure you zoom in very well while doing this much. I'm used to it, that's why I just zoom out that way. Please uh, zoom in so that you get what you are doing right. And also right now, I'm not using any digital tablets or a mouse. I'm merely using my touchpad right now. And I'm getting every detail right. So don't think because you know you don't have a graphic tablet uh, or a mouse that you can't smudge. You can smudge if you put your mind to it and you are very, very gentle with it. And you don't rush yourself. So it's very very easy. It's not a must you get it right the first time. Uh, practice make perfection. I also started somewhere. I started around a year and a half ago. So uh, even my work, I'm to show you what the smudge I did while I just started. Uh, you guys won't believe it. Oh, look at me today i'm getting better by the day even though i haven't met up to my taste uh meet up my satisfaction yet but i know i'm getting better by the day so keep practicing on daily basis and also go to instagram join facebook pages that deals with much printing so that you can get comments from people uh, they can motivate you on step to take next uh, while smudging you can get latest update on it and also get reviews from people that are way better than you Well, and also the nose area there are a lot of dictates there so just reduce your brush size so that you can be able to smudge it very well so as not to lose any dictates there we are only smudging to modify the picture to make it cartoon like uh, and not to restructure the face 
so we loved having an addictive day after smudging the picture so take your time while smudging don't rush and make sure you preserve every detail in the picture especially the facial structure As you can see right now, the image is not as smooth as the one I usually post. Ah, what's wrong? And this guy called it smooth painting for us. But don't worry, this was the first step. We are going to redo the picture once again to smoothing of the area that is not as smooth. But this was the first step. So be patient, do the first step right first. Then we'll jump into the second step soon enough. I just want everybody to learn. That's my key points right now. So let me do around the beard too. So I'm also blending this side a little bit. As you can see right now, it seems as if we crop it out. So we are going to blend it with the skin down there. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm blending it. Right, so look at see if we we'll crop it out. This won't be that professional enough. If someone is to find out, ah, uh, this guy crop out the whole components before smudging. So for my brother was outside Nigeria in country that doesn't use uh, English as the official language. I pray that my caption works so that you guys can just uh, use my subtitles instead of the voice recording right now. I hope, I hope it works well for you guys because I want every one of you guys to learn and also I want to be seeing your works online. Uh, post your work and I will be very very proud of Ah, these are the people I thought smudge painting. So please you guys should make me proud and also after this class I'll be dropping a video tutorial but the one I'm dropping I'm not using any sound and I'm going to be fast forwarding I'm going to be fast forwarding it and also the video is going to be a competition uh, anybody is free to partake and they will first the person that takes the first position and the second runner up uh, the both of them is going to have an award from me so I'm going to be giving them some files for free of charge for them to make use of so just try your best and also just try your best As you can see right now we are almost through the first step of smudging I think as you can see these are before and either after before after I'm getting something nice right now so the next thing I will do right now is smudge the hand because the hand is the part of the skin too uh, we are not touching the coat right now we'll come back to that later on so I'm going to smudge it I'm going to smudge it Don't forget we are still using our strengths being at 30 from the beginning up to this stage right now. We haven't increased or decreased it in any way. So just take your time. The reason why my bro size is big uh, while I'm smudging now is because there is no more detail in the hand. I just smudge all the area the way I see if it so I keep smudging but the hand is not as smooth enough but don't worry about all that we'll get back on that very very soon so let me do the hand 
uh, the fist area still going to small that too for everything we're doing so far the picture does not look like small yet but don't worry step by step once you almost have the final step you will see that what we'll be doing so far well don't let me see it yet let's get there then you'll find out so just keep watching till the end and also guys please do follow me on instagram uh please help increase my popularity too I will bring in latest updates for you guys. So also the finger, please why small the finger, reduce the bra size so that you won't have some uh, awful outcome. can see right now I'm taking my time that's why the video is going to take uh, more time than before before my video takes just about 20 30 40 minutes stop but this video right now is going to take over an hour if not up to two hours so that you guys can get everything right so 2022 you can have what to work with you can earn a lot of money from this a lot of money from it uh, you can make a living out of it, much picture of a frame and so on. So just make sure you build yourself, uh, practice regularly and also what I always say to people, love what you do. Uh, if you love what you do, if you find joy in what you do, it will be very very easy for you. Uh, it will look to as a work to you to seem as if you are having fun and also at the same time gaining your popularity and also making money out of it so if you don't love what you do uh, you can never go find it so love it learn it practice and uh, just do whatever it is to make it new for yourself so we're done with the first step of smudging the skin. What am I seeing right now? The skin is not all that smooth. It's some area of which I don't like. So the next thing I'll do, I'm going to duplicate the layer I'm working on right now by clicking on Ctrl J again. Now see right click it, right click it, then create a clipping mark also. This time around I'll be changing my brush strength now to 10%. 10 so before we are using a smaller bra this time around I'm going to increase my bra size click OK then I'm going to scrub over the area I've been through before I'm going to scrub over it very very well to smoothen it off this time around it won't have much effect on it because uh, the strength is already on 10% so there's no much effect there I'm to zoom in okay let's check our before as you can before is the after before as you can see right now a whole lot smoother than before so I'll do that to almost all the area of smooth through the first time increase the brush size and go over it You can see our image is a whole lot smoother than the first step we took. A whole lot smoother. So let me do it to the left hand side also. So keep on smudging. Keep on smudging. You can see it's not all that hard, uh, especially if you're familiar with Photoshop. Yeah, if you're familiar with Photoshop and how to use uh, your layers, 
brother had, but if you know that family also, you still know that had, you just have to concentrate, as you can see, before, after, before, after, very, very smooth than the previous one. So I'll go to the neck also and do the same thing there. Then also, once I'm done with the neck, I'll go to the arm too. I'll do the same thing there too. As you can see, the brow size I'm using right now is a whole lot bigger than the first one I, did, I made use of. So you guys can just send me out, help me tag him on Instagram, on Twitter, on TC, this. So help your brother, let's help each other. So I'm done with the second step. Okay, let's check the before. This is the before, this is the after. It was very smooth than the previous one. So the next thing, we're done with smudging the skin. Now it's time for we to smudge the clothes. You know, we duplicated all our component to crop out the first time, then we create a layer for it and lock it down here as you can see everything right now. So right now I'm going to own it back. I will unlock it. But it's below our image, so it's not showing on our image. So what I'll do now, I'm going to drag because I want to open the clothes now. I will drag the clothes to the uppermost layer right now as you can see it's at the top then i'll duplicate it by clicking on ctrl j then i'll right click on it then create a clipping max then i'll increase my bro strength this time around to 40 then i'll start smudging on the clothes i can decide to leave it this way with the oil paint on it or i just want something a whole lot smaller as you can see right now Just smudge on this. So you take your time here too. As you can see, I'm going on a straight line now because I'm also protecting the dictates in the glutes. As you can see right now. I don't want to lose all the details in the clothes. If I'm to smudge like this, you can see I've already damaged the details I have there. So I'm going with the line. I'm playing along with it. As so you can see. And it's also dancing with me too. As so you can see right now. I'm protecting the details there. As so you can see, the details are still there. So I'll do that to all the areas I'm working on for the clothes right now. I love working with details. I love all my details being in my picture. So that's why I go to this extreme and edge wise smudging. So take your time with it also. Or well, if you don't want to smudge the code, you can decide to leave it uh, after I painting it just to save you a lot of time. But to get a nice uh, clothes, a smooth clothes, uh, you can smudge it. But if you are working on a clothes with stripe, uh, with design on it, uh, I advise you to just oil paint it and leave it that way. Or smudging it is just like you uh, sp spoiling the clothes. It's still really look all nice again. So it's better you just oil paint and leave it that way. So I'm almost done. I'm almost done. can see protecting the dictates also at the same time smudging the picture very nice almost 
Tamam. Okay, thank you John. You can leave it this way or you can just reduce the broad screen back to 10 at the way we did the first time. Then smoothing up the coat also. You can just smoothing it up to make it a little bit a lot smoother than the first one. So you saw me created a clipping max. I did it for the image. I also did it on the clothes, but you don't know the reason why. Uh, the reason why is that while we are smudging we can mistakenly smudge out uh, of the shape we created okay let me release this clipping mask now release clipping mask as you can see right now let me show you on the goods while i'm smudging you can see i made a lot of mistake here so me clipping it to the lower layer uh, it cancels all my mistake. It doesn't seem as if I make any mistake there. So that's the reason why I'm using clipping max. That's the same reason why I use it on both the air, uh, the skin layer and everything. So the next thing we'll be doing right now is to apply color on the skin. And I think this is one of my favorite things. So right now we've already cropped out uh, the clothes. What we want to apply color on right now? It shows the skin. So what we are going to do? We are going to control click, control and click on the glue. As you can see, selected the glue. Then we are going to control shift and I to invert it to invert selection. Then we'll go to our image layer here. Then we'll control J it. As you can see right now, I uh, let me turn off the, all the layers. As you can see right now, we only have our skin layer. Uh, in conjunction with our watch so right now i'll be deleting the watch also i'll go i'll go to the watch where's my watch over here this is my watch i'll control click on it then i'll come back to this one i just duplicated now i will delete it control d as you can see right now so what i'll do next is that i'll turn on all the layer back i'm going to turn it on So this is the area we create. This is the skin we created now, and that's where we want to apply color on. So next thing I will do now is to control click on it right now. I will go to my polygonal axis two right there. Then I will right click on it. I will go to fill. Then from content aware, I will change it to color. Uh, most of the time, I love sampling from the skin color, from the brightest area. Then I will adjust it a little bit okay okay and now the select by pressing ctrl z as you can see now what's this uh i want to modify the color but the color I've already covered up the skin i want to modify so what i'll do right now i'll change the blend mode over here we call this area blend mode i'll change it from normal i'll change it to color as you can see right now it applies the color on the uh on the skin but right now the color have already affected put the air the lash the earring and also the bed so what i'm going to do next there's something we call a layer max this it over here add the layer max on the color layer i'll click on it then i'll pick my brush i'll make sure my color is on black change it to black right here so I'll pick my brush. This is my brush over here. Uh, it's already at 71 opacity. I'll reduce it to maybe like 35 is okay for me. <coughs> then I'll clean it. Once I'm scrubbing on it, as you can see, it will clean it up for me. But I don't want to clean it. I want to clean everything up. Just a little part of it. I still want some colors to be there. So I will just clean it up a little bit. So same thing also. I will go to the once I'm done with the air. I'm almost done. Once I'm done with the air, I'll go to the lash two, to the brows. I mean, I'll clean it up a little bit. 
can you talk a little bit? Also go to the eye. This time around my brush will be at 100 percent 100 now clean up the color from the eye. I'll clean it up from the eye. Clean it up. So on this time around I'll also clean it off from the bed too. But this time around I will change my brush opacity back to 35. 35. Click OK. Use the brush side, then go over it bit by little. So I'm cleaning it off. Go over it. As you can see, we are getting rid of the color from the bed. Well, we're cleaning off all the color now it just seems as if we cropped it out that's why i left some color out but we are still going to darken the air later on so what i will do now once i'm done with that uh is our area over here i'm going to click on it earlier our bed i'll click on it our brows i'll click on it i'm going to mesh the three together by clicking on Ctrl E, I want to drag it up to the uppermost layer. Drag up to the uppermost layer. As you can see right now, what was this? Ah, it's destroying our image right now. So what I'll do now, I'll Ctrl click on it. Ctrl click. Then I will right go back to my polygonal axle too. I will right click, go to view, then choose my color. This time around I'm using black. Click OK. And I'll display by pressing Ctrl D. I'll still go back to my blend mode now. Change it to color. But right now it's still not giving me what I want. So I'll still create create a layer marks on it again on the earlier this time around. Then I'll pick my brush by pressing B. Opacity is still at 35. And I'll get rid, rid of these edges right here. Zoom in, use my brush size, and I'll get rid of the edges. So that it could blend in with the skin, could blend perfectly in with the skin. You can see right now. I'll do the same thing for the brows too. So this step confuses a lot, but just take your time with it. Uh, don't rush yourself. If you have any question, just contact me. I will reply you anywhere anytime if i'm available uh, if not i will get back to you tops uh, in the next one to two hours so we're done with the air uh, we're done with the eyebrows this time around i'm going for the beard so we'll do the same thing here also note we are blending in the colors together So just take your time with it, don't rush yourself once you get what you want. It might consume a lot of your time, but perfection is what we need. And also, you get better with time. 
you get some, some time, you get, you get some points. It won't take you 35, 40 minutes to small the whole picture. But for now, even though it takes you two hours, it's worth it just for you to learn. As you can see, is the color we added, the black color, just to blend in the color a little bit. Okay, let me go back to the air and blend it a little bit more. The reason why I'm doing this, I want it to look as if uh, the air is not part of the, not part of the skin. So, so just take your time. So I think we're done with blending in of the color right now. But we forgot to clean up the lip color. So we'll go back to the color and we'll click on click on the max. Uh this time around I'll brush up as the at one back. So we'll clean it up, clean the color from the lip and also the teeth. So we're done with that. Next step now is for we to dodge and burn. This is my favorite step of four. This is what makes smudge painting smudge painting. Uh, the dodge and bone, it helps modify the picture. Uh, it helps restructure the face. Uh, that's why we dodge and bone picture. And it's very, very hard to learn. So there are the techniques I do use while dodging my picture. What I do first, I'll duplicate the image layer right now I can still work on the image layer but the reason why I love duplicating is so that I will know I will be able to check my before and my after very very easy uh, if I'm to go back I will use the previous layer and redo the particular step again so once I've duplicated this layer now I'll go to the uppermost layer now click on my adjustment layer over here then go to black and white this time around, I will decrease my red as you can see right now this bright area, this area we are going to dodge and this black area, this area where we call the bone I'm only going to be dodging my picture, I'm not burning it right now so firstly I'm going to be using my highlights I'll go to my, pick up my dodge my exposure at 20% I'll go to highlight first and I'll reduce the brush size then I'll go to my image layer here and I'll start dodging. I'm going to create my highlight first. These are my highlighted area. Let me turn it off as you can see. There's a slight change is very right. So I'll do it for almost all the parts I want to highlight. Highlight. So just take your time with it. This is the best part of the smudge painting. This is the part that helps modify the picture. Make you look very very smart. So I'm still using, I'm still on my highlight right now. I'm going to change it to mid tone very very soon. But I'm still working with my highlight for now. Keep on with that until I'm done. So the reason why I was able to find where I'm to dodge uh, is because I made use of my black and white layer. So it helps a lot in case you don't know how to dodge and burn. But if you are an expert on dodge and burn, you don't need the black and white layer for you to be able to boil and dodge your picture. Ok, 
okay i'm almost done with the highlighted area as you can see it's modifying our pictures for us it's making our image pop out i will apply same thing on body and So if I have to turn on my turn off my black and white layer now, you can see right now. Is my dodge? Is my highlighted area? So this time around, I'm switching from highlight. I'm switching to mid tone right now. So I'll still turn on my black and white layer. I'll go to my mid tone. My mid tone, sorry, mid tone. So I'll still be modifying this area too. You can see it's getting here a whole lot better than before. Go to the end also. Like this. You can do a whole lot better job than here. You can do a better job than this. So go to the neck also. Okay, I think we're done with that. As I turn off my layer right now, my black and white layer, either before, either after. We have something nice, but if it's too much, you can just reduce the opacity. You can reduce the opacity a little bit till you see it. I think it's okay. But the issue I'm doing right now, uh, the color it looks too reddish for me for my taste. So right now I'm going to the color layer by then I'll click on Ctrl U. Then for my master I switch it to red and I reduce the saturation of the red. You can see you can reduce it, you can increase it. So I'm reducing it a little bit. Then I'll click on OK. I think the color is a little bit better than the first one. So the next thing I will do right now is to apply color on the lip. You can smudge the lip too, but I, I love the way the lip is right now. So I'm leaving the lip this way. So I'm going to apply color on the lip. I'm going to create a new layer at the top. And I'll pick my color. I'm using color red first. My brush opacity. I'll pick my brush. Brush opacity will be at 20%. Then I'll apply my red color first. My red first. And I'll go for something deeper. And I'll also apply it outside here. Yeah? Also at the top too. So now I can just decide to leave it like this or I can change the blend mode to color again so I think this is nice so far we've done a great job so the next thing we can do right now the air color is not for that price we can just spice it up a little bit brighten it up so I'm going to do that I'm going to go to my adjustment layer right here click on selective color then from red I'll go to black so I can just increase the black over here. I can reduce it. I can increase the black. I think I'll put it on. I think 4 is okay for me. So I'm going to turn it off right here. So the next thing I will do right now is to apply color on the watch. I'm going to pick the watch. You know, we created a group down here that will pick both the hair, uh, uh, the beard, and also the brows. So we still have our watch in the group there. So I'm going to drag the watch to the uppermost layer. To the uppermost layer, I'll drag it. Then I'll control click on it. 
and I'll right click sorry I'll go to my polygonal as well too first right click fill then I'll choose my color I'm choosing a yellow color right now a yellow color I'll click OK Ctrl D to deselect change the blend mode from normal to color I think we have a gold watch right now then I'll create a layer max on this to clean up this area the face area <coughs> I'll pick my brush strength at 100% make sure the color is on black strength 100% I'll clean the area off so we're done with that for now also we can change the earring color to, to gold also so I'll just drag the earring too I'll drag it to the uppermost layer then I'll control click on these two uh, go to my polygonal as well also right click fill it's already on yellow color click ok control this is select and I'll change the blend mode to color also oh do have a good color so that's that for now the next step is creating a background you can create a background on your own we we'll have a custom made background I usually use uh, which is my color code so firstly before we do that let's group everything we've done so far together I'll click from the last layer to the uppermost one then I'll click on ctrl G So I'll go for a white solid color now. Solid color. Whites. So I can decide to give you color like this. Or I can import any other thing from my desktop. I love using this red. This red uh color wire. Just wrap it in my Photoshop. So I can decide to blow it a little bit. Tab blow. Gashion. Uh, I think I prefer it this way. Well, I can just reduce the blow. Okay, okay like this. So that's that for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be dropping the video for my I have my competition probably before the week runs out. But please, guys, practice on this one very well. Uh, learn the basic step. If you have any question, just ask me, I'll get back to you. So, one love, guys. Thanks very much for watching.